Um, this is a, another new unboxing, but believe it or not, this is a kind of um, unexpected unboxing. And it's of the Panasonic KX-TGC222 digital cordless answering system. And it comes with two handsets. Now, the reason why I say this is unexpected is because... Um, for some strange reason, um, the the e the um the our old um um cordless phone at the moment isn't working, so we've had to sit there and get um a new one. So it, this wasn't something that was planned on on buying. It's just obviously that you, you know you need a landline. Of all you know, overall all people have got a mobile phone to communicate, but you know it's nice to have a landline. So. This is why um it's unexpected because also well, obviously we only just um it was only just purchased maybe in the last twenty twenty to thirty minutes so that's why this is unexpected. And as you can see here, this is a um obviously as as clear stage as Panasonic and it's I don't know if it's white or silver. You get the two cordless um handsets and then you've got the main base and the second handset which you can put wherever you want. So it's gonna be interesting to see how um this works. It says here um, that it's got a nuisance core block, which for me, which for most people, I would assume would be very um, great because um, I don't know if people have noticed that during the pandemic, there's been a lot of cold calls where people are trying to sell you stuff or saying to you um, that you bought something from Amazon and you need to press this if you want, if you um, want your money back and all this stuff and all people trying to sell you insurance claims or do this or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it can be rather annoying because... You don't know, um, obviously, when you get the call readout, whether or not it's a genuine call or it's a fake call. And then after a while, it's all right, but it just gets a bit irritating. So anything that can be done to to, to block nuisance call is always a godsend in my book. And as I, can, and as I said here, it's a digital cordless answering system. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's... Um, we'll look at the instructions to see um, what... Um, this phone kind of um, provides this phone was um, purchased from Argos and I'm from I've looked because obviously I didn't buy it but I've looked it was, it was around 40 pounds for this particular product so um, yeah you can see at the back so at the back here it says um, um, okay look it says eco function it says eco mode ninety percent transmission power reduction with lower power consumption. Telephone answering system up to eighteen minutes. Comfortable hands free talking. Fifty name and number stored phone book. Share the phone book central from the base unit. So obviously that means obviously this is the base unit you can share the um the telephone numbers that you've stored from this unit to that unit. So that's kind of great. You've got 10 redial numbers, so obviously you can store 10 numbers and then redial them without having to type them in. So you'd also you'd choose your, your 10 most used numbers, so that's kind of great. It says here, polyphonic ringer on handset, 10 melodies, 5 tones, advanced alarm clock, which I didn't know um, these kind of phones have, um, do. It do. says here, alarm once, daily, a all day, all day of the week option and a snooze function. Locator button to find misled handset, which is great because when we um the one that's broken now currently, well I think it's broken, um we were um constantly losing the handsets. We all I was always trying to um ring up to find where it is, so that's kind of handy. Um, you've got a key lock here. You've got a twin includes um, two handsets, one base unit and one charger. And it says it requires subscription to caller ID and call waiting services. And it says, please check with your local telephone company for details and availability. And obviously, this is from the Panasonic Corporation. Um, and then it says there is a 1.6 inch or 4.1 centimeter illuminated display. Which we've got here. Um, so, without further ado, we'll get ready to open this up. I apologize if I, might, if I sound a bit. Um, um, bogged up. Basically, I'm just recovering from the flu. I'm over the worst of it at the moment, but you know, you still have any little snuffles and a little coughing here and there, but nothing too serious. But I'm over the worst of it. And then, obviously, you've got the batteries there, which each of them come with, and then this is a block from unwanted 
and anonymous incoming calls. And according to here, it says the number one global brand. Well, we'll take, we'll take their word for it. So without further ado, we shall open this. Okay, here we go here. Um, we've got the first handset here. Put that aside there. We've got the second twin handset. We'll look at that in more detail. Um, you've got the batteries that um, obviously each of the handsets take two, take two each, so they're probably rechargeable. Okay, get this in. All right, so this looks like the um, main base unit. We can get this all out. Oh yeah, I know what this is. This is the bit where you um, plug into your telephone socket, and then that will go into the base. So this will go into your um, telephone socket attached to your wall, and then this will go into the base unit for um, charger um, for the actual unit. Well, not the, the unit, but obviously the base charger. So we'll put that there. Hopefully, it should come with two. Okay, I'll move, move this like this because it'll be easy to get into focus. Obviously, you've got the main base here. This is the main one. You've got the, at the top there, you've got your volume plus, your volume minus, locator. Obviously, that's defined. Um, your um unit um your main um telephone unit if you've lost it obviously that that's probably is to do the raise um orange, orange machine calls and you got the orange machine on and off and then you obviously got the you got um you can turn it on and then you've got the play there and you can skip to the next message or skip back to the next message yeah obviously see you've got that bit there so that's where that wire plugs in which i will show you and obviously that's for the main power also, I'm not going to just demonstrate exactly how to how it works because I've got no one to call. But you'll get the gist of it. Okay. You've got here the, the base for the second handset. As you can see there, obviously it's much smaller and it doesn't have, the, have any of the functionality of the main base unit. Again, I think you would um, plug that in. I don't know. Um, you got the wire thing there, so we'll sort it out. And I think last but not least, we should have the actual. This is the actual power supply for the main unit. Over here. And then this is the um, this should be for the second base handset that that we've got here. So we'll get these stuff all out of the way. I mean, as of all, I mean I'll demonstrate um setting it up, but actually using it, obviously um everyone knows how to use a telephone. Um, this is the um, the first handset. As you can see, it's got a silver finish. It looks kind of more like a mobile phone. And then you've got the display there. There, it's a four point centimeter um, screen. And obviously, you've got your um, your call button and that's the button to cancel the calls. And obviously, you've got your numbers here and there. You... And at the back, and as you can see, it's like um, a black shiny. Um, finish at the top which looks cool but obviously you know it's going to be a fingerprint and a scratch magnet and trust me i know that especially with the shiny plastic on the ps5 and then obviously you've got here you've got like a lovely um silver finish here the buttons are rubber 
and they're not too bad in the way that they feel. It's not too soft and it's not too hard at the same time. So there's a little bit of give. And obviously over time that will probably get a little bit more, um, you know, easier to use. And then you've got here, you've got the, the back of it here where obviously the slide is down to. Obviously I can sit there and do it. And then that's the speaker there. And obviously you've got the cover for the battery, which I shall install in both of these. And obviously here you've got the identical um, second unit telephone here. So that's identical in every shape and form. Bound to the same. And obviously all you would do for the main unit is pull that in there to charge so that'll be like it looks kind of really smart i do like i do actually like the ergonomics and the actual design of it, it does look really smart and then for the actual other one you obviously you've got um obviously you've got that in there as well so yeah that's how you would do that so firstly what we'll do is that well we shall put the batteries in because i don't know how well charged these are going to be because sometimes you can get them and they're partially charged sometimes they're not so again obviously these are pretty simple to put in um to put batteries in so um i, I never get these the right way around or i just guess believe it or not um i should go in like so you, you heard that beep there and then obviously we slide back a couple of here. So it's asking you on there to set the date and time, which we'll sort out in a minute. And then we'll do the same for this. As you can see there. And I've got this the right way around. Yeah, you, you can tell it's worked because you can hear a little beep, and that'll probably all ask. The similar thing for the date and time. Yeah, set date and time. We just saw that there. So we've got these all set up. And the first one we'll do is that we'll, I'll show, um, obviously that's not gonna be too hard to do, but I'll show you where everything goes. So we'll take these um, little things off here. We'll see, see, see. well, it's not gonna matter, matter about the length of it because um, obviously it's cordless, so. The base you won't have to worry about, obviously, because obviously the telephone's cordless, so you get it's quite long there. Yeah? It's not going to fit all into frame. So all you do is that you get that, and then you just plug. If I can get this in, that just squeezes that down, and that snaps in. So you got that there already. Oh, and then obviously that will plug into your telephone socket. So that's not difficult. And then you've got the power supply for the base unit, which again we have to sit down. Oh, mine that's quite long, so hopefully for where, wherever yours is fitted, it shouldn't. Um, your plug's fitted. Your, you may have extension already. So you've got the main power unit. There. You've got a little L-shaped um, connection. And then that just goes into here. That's clips into place, so that solves. It's fairly simple, and obviously you just plug that in. And obviously that goes in like so. So it's again not complicated. Probably that's probably why they don't really give you any instructions. Or maybe they do. It's fairly but it's fairly easy to um to sort out. Again, sorry about the snuffling. Look at that beeping again. Okay, this is quite, for, well, for the second unit, it's actually quite long. Okay. And obviously, as before, you get the main plug. And then, I'm trying to think, that just should, you can see that little gap there. That should just go in. Like so, so that's fairly simple. And obviously that should just 
clip into Saranis. I've probably got this the wrong way around. No wonder Selling me. So you've got it all plugged in. So you've got it all set up there. You've got them the base unit and then the second unit, which you can wherever you wanna your main base operations are. Right. And what we'll do now is that we shall set the time. I have to get my other mobile because this one I'm using, my old mobile I'm using film. Okay, I'll just use a watch. Bear with me a sec. Okay, because I don't really have a believe it or not, I don't really have my um a watch. Well, I, I do have one, but it's one of them fancy Acris watches at the moment. It's run out, of, run out of battery, so I'm, I'm hoping in the next maybe a couple of months to get and to treat myself to a um, to a eye watch. And um, you know, it's something I've always wanted. <clears throat> and if uh, if and when I do get one, you um, this will be the place where you will see the, people again. This is where you will see. The, I will do an unboxing of that. Hopefully, if I do. Um, I'm, I am able to pick pick one up. So let's see how simple this is to set. Okay, it says just says press OK, which would be this. It would indicate this button here. Oh, it's no connection. Okay, right. As you can see here, it glows. It's got an um and yellow glow, which is kind of cool. Most of what I use have been green. Right, what we'll do is it, I'm, I'm, I'll see if I can actually test it out. We'll see if we can do that. Let's see if it works now. Um, press OK again. OK, we can here. So today's, so it's, just trying to double check when, when it is. It's, it's Sunday. The third of January, so that so you obviously you use these buttons here, the top button, to basically um, oh, I've got this right. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Oh, actually, you probably, you probably just use this. Yeah. So it's the third of the seventh, twenty twenty two. So that's correct. And you press OK see the time okay it would be 1621 which is it's just all just um it's 421 in the afternoon here in the UK and then we press okay so that's set obviously it's just check landline so we'll Sort out in a minute. Wow. And then just check. And oh yeah, because this has to be plugged in. So obviously you would do what you do with this one um, to set the time. It will be exactly the same. You know as what you would do with that one. Um. What we'll do is I'm gonna plug this one into the mains. And we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, I've got that one plugged in, isn't it? There's so many of them. Oh dear. Okay, what we're gonna have to do, we'll leave this one here, because it's basically it's where because where my one is um the socket is downstairs where I am. It's gonna um, it's kind of further away. So what we'll have to do is I'll have to take this one off camera. I'll plug this one out, take this off camera. And then, now actually we'll have to leave this one in because we need the um the power. I just need to test to see if it's working. It says charging, it says checking landline. I don't know if it's working or not. Right. 
I'm going to sit there and see if I can actually dial it. I don't know if there's anything else I'm supposed to set. Um, okay. Right, I'll have to check. I'll have to do it off camera to check to see what's going on there. But yeah, but this, but as I said, um, this is um, a, a definitely a step, um, a not huge upgrade from our old phone. So yeah, I mean, um, yeah, what I, what I might do is that if, um, you know, I might do a follow up video to, um, you know, in, in, in up and coming weeks to say um, how well the phone is actually, um, if it's working or if it's cool compared to the other one, if it's um, any better. But so far, I'm very impressed with what you get. You obviously get the G handsets for £40, and then you get all the buttons in there. My old one, because this is, well, we only had one um, portable handset, and it never had any, it never had any of it. It, it, it basically just had this, and then that's all basically you got with it, all the functionality was um, the actual um, handset. But yeah. Really, kind of right, please with this, and hopefully, um, this will serve us for, for a very long time. Anyway, um, I hope people found this video informative. Feel free to like and to share, um, because it also helps people find me on YouTube. Because, um, obviously, being a small town YouTube and the algorithms, um, it can be very difficult. So, you know, right, please feel free to share and also to like my video. You know, you know, it only takes a little less than a second to just tick the like box. And also, if you already haven't, please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to see stuff like this and other content that I have on my YouTube channel. And um, a big shout out to all the new um, subscribers that have joined my channel, and I really appreciate it all. I, re I really appreciate you um, liking my channel, and I'll do my best to um, to keep you all subscribed to my channel with the content I have. And also, all to my um old my old and loyal subscribers that have been with me over over the months and years. So I really appreciate appreciate all of you. So anyway, take care. Bye for now. S stay safe and enjoy the rest of your weekend wherever you are in the world. Bye for now.